game played in America between f- football fans where you each uh, participant drafts a team of professional players, and if that professional player scores a say a touchdown in the in the season or in the, in the game, they get they get points for that player, which contributes to your team points, thus creating a game. We play four points for quarterbacks, six points for running backs. That's about as far as it goes. Fantasy football is like my own personal drug. And, and right now, I, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm in the withdrawal stages, and I can admit that. I think that's the first stage. That's my life. That's what I breathe, drink, eat for. That's why I'm here. My friends that are in the league, well, there's Cameron Honeycutt, John Jacobs, Matt Moffitt, uh, Andrew Porter, Chase Eric, uh, Garrett Howard. He's an out-of-town guy. I mean, I'm a real athlete here. I'm like, I'm one of those individuals that like, they want to be with because like, I do things that other people can't, such as, you know, football, well, fantasy football, fantasy football. I'm a fantasy football player. I like to play fantasy football because it's... It's a good. It brings good camaraderie through friends. It um, it it. I love to trash talk. So I like say when Moffat loses, I, I love to trash talk to him. Fantasy football is uh, can be your greatest sense of joy, and it can also be your biggest downfall. And in my case, it's probably the latter. The sacco. That's an interesting thing. Because this year, Moffitt has the Sacco, and that is perfect. That's the perfect person to have the Sacco. The Sacco is whoever comes in last place in our league, they they have these punishments made up by the rest of the league. This year, we did two punishments. They get to pick the punishments, totally deserve the punishments. And this year, Matt Moffitt has to wear his clothes for one week, <laughs> and then he has to run to every class for a day wearing a GoPro. So that's the Sacco. Watching Moffat lose gave me the feeling of pure ecstasy, bliss, joy all around. I mean, it was just one of the most satisfying things to ever happen to me. It never gets old. That's the play that ruined Moffitt's fantasy season. Uh, well, it was the last game of the season with about a minute left. Uh, the only way Daniel was going to come back is if the 49ers got a pick six. And that's exactly what happened. And that's why I'm wearing this shirt for the third day. I, I ended up sixth in the league. I made the playoffs, but I, I had to make some trades to get there. With, with, without those trades, I would be out. I would have been out. Andrew Porter. Got first this year. That's my, that's my spot. Came in third. I deserve that number one spot. That was my spot. And it got stolen from me. Just keep on doing what I'm doing. After all, I won three years in a row, and this year I got fourth. I think I'm safe. I don't know about the others. And the next year I'm going to be out with a vengeance. So I can tell you I won't get the sack up next year. Players I want for next season... Number one on my list, Jamal Charles for Kansas City. Best running back in the league, in my opinion. Number two would be definitely Russell Wilson, quarterback for Seattle Seahawks. Uh, you know, I think after this year, it was a little bit disappointing. So I think a strat- strategy change might be in order. Uh, maybe read different magazines. Maybe not ESPN. Maybe read, like, I don't know, Sports World or something. Just, you know, subtle changes, and I think it'll, I can get it to the top. What I would recommend to new people coming to fantasy football is just – Dive right in. You don't really have to know much. Just go with the players that are projected to do well, and you should do fine.